All right, folks, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. In this one, we're gonna be doing a first cut and initial review of my new Strike Master 40 volt. This is the 10 inch light. They came out with the 10 inch light for this season here. And uh, this 10 inch has the plastic flights like the six and eight inch light flights have had for the last couple of years. This thing clocks in uh, at 22 pounds. It has a five amp hour battery and they shaved a couple uh, pounds of weight off by going from metal to the plastic here. I've been wanting to go this route for some time, but I've had such good results with my light flight on my rigid octane that I haven't went this route. But we're gonna get right to it, folks. Um, just one other thing real quick. It came with this new style blade cover here. It's similar to the, um, the cold snap that you may have seen on some of my other augers. But this one's designed just to step on the plate here. And this should pop right out just like that. So you don't have to worry about the bungees popping off and you know going all over the place, you know, blade cover falling off. So um, we're gonna get drilling. This is the first hole. Has the safety button here, the go button, forward reverse. Pretty simple. Alright, here we go. First hole. Nice and smooth, nice and easy, nice easy cut. on the bottom for some reason. Oh. I wasn't it. I wasn't expecting that. It's kind of shutting off at the bottom. I'll try putting a little more pressure on it, see if that helps. Not sure how I like that. I weren't expecting that. That one went all the way through. Yeah, it's not at the bottom. Maybe I was putting a little too much pressure on it. I'll back off a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I think I was putting a little too much pressure on it. So just a real quick update, I know it's kind of an awkward jump in the video here, but we're towards the tail end of the evening and I've popped, I don't know, probably 20 holes uh, fishing around this evening and I haven't had a cutout in probably 15 holes. So I'm going to try to get another 5 or 10 on camera and see if we can do them all without a cutout.
All right, folks, uh, we're going to wrap the video up here. It's the next day, and I have dedicated quite a bit of brain power to how I wanted to end this video here. I normally like to film on the ice, wrap up on the ice, and be done with it, but I just felt like I needed a little more thinking time on this one here. Uh, I filmed everything yesterday and just didn't like how it looked, how it sounded. I was thinking as I was talking, and... I just didn't like how it came out and there was a few points I didn't talk about that I wanted to talk about uh, today. So I just figured I'd, I'd go this route and, uh, you know, wrap everything up here. Um, everything um, I'm going to say is not bashing Strike Master. You folks that know my channel know I'm not a product basher, but I did not like how that first round of cuts went. Um, there was approximately 10 to 12 inches of ice and I just didn't like how that was cutting out. I don't feel like it should have been cutting out like that. I wasn't putting a lot of pressure pushing down through that. I, I know I did reference, you know, trying to put a little more pressure on, but uh, initially when it was cutting out, I was just pretty much guiding that thing down and it was cutting out. I did put a little more pressure on and that thing definitely did cut out more the more pressure I put on. But at the end of the, you know, first 20 cuts, I mean, I was putting minimal to no pressure on that and it was still cutting out. So I really didn't like how that thing performed for the first 20 holes the last you know 10 on camera plus 15 off camera so say 20 to 25 you know cut much better but it was clear that there was less ice uh in that spot i estimate there was eight inches i, f I forgot my scoop that has the tape measure on it so you know can't confirm exactly how much there was but it was in the ballpark of that so it was clear that it cut better um on the last round but there was less ice and I just don't feel like, you know, three to four inches of, you know, ice extra, you know, should have made that perform the way it did. Because we're just going to get more ice from here in Maine. We're going to double that, triple that. And again, I'm not bashing Strike Master, but I just am not real confident with that auger right now. I don't know if there's something wrong with it or that's how it's supposed to cut. Either way, I'm just not confident in it. And I can't say this enough. I'm not bashing Strike Master. I have nothing but good things to say about my old 10-inch uh, Laser Pro gas auger. I just sold it to my brother, and I know he'll get many years out of that to come. The Strike Master Light Flight, I love it. Um, not one bad thing to say about that. I think it's the best on the market right now. But just the way that 40-volt cut, I'm not impressed with it. And as we sit right now filming this video, I'm leaning towards either returning it and exchanging it for a new 40-volt or returning it and trying the new Ion Alpha Plus. I've seen nothing but good things about the Ion. I know that's new, you know, I know that's a complete redesign, so I know that's new, whereas the 40 volt's been around for a while, but again, you know, that was the 40 volt light, so that's relatively new to the market. So, you know, my head's kind of spinning right now, folks, with what I want to do with that auger, but as I sit right now, looking like I'm gonna exchange that one I have. I've scoured the internet forums, forums I'm on, uh, YouTube videos, and it seems like that's a common thing with them, that them cut out at the bottom. Some people say they don't. Some say they do. Some that say they do think it's normal. Some that say it cuts out like mine says it's not normal. I found a few reviews of folks saying they returned their unit and their new one cut far better than the one they returned. So I don't know. Like I said, my uh, head's spinning, folks. And again, I'm not bashing Strike Master. Um, just not all that confident um, with how that cut. And if I, you know, buy a piece of equipment like that, spend the money for it, I want to know 100% that that thing is going to work every time. It's going to be reliable. It's going to be durable. And I just can't say I felt like that that first round. And I've thought about taking it out another two or three times to see how it goes. But I don't know. I'm just not sure that that would um, change my mind much at all. You know, I felt like, you know, them first 20 cuts that it should have cut much better. But um, that's where I'm at with the whole thing, folks. Um, sorry for the lengthy uh, finish to the video here. I normally don't like to have this much talking at the end of the video, but I just feel like this is a big purchase. You know, it's a big part of ice fishing, and it's just wildly different than I was expecting. So I just wanted to get this out. Um, I wanted today to think about it. Um, so that's where we're at. Uh, as always, if you folks have the 40-volt, feel free 
in the comments to leave your experiences with it. This is just my experience. It was just my first use with it. So um, feel free to chime in, you know, to share your experiences with it. You know, also with the ION, you know, if you guys have an ION, feel free to share your experiences with, uh, with that as well. But with that, folks, we're going to wrap it up here. Sorry for the lengthy one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.